Hi, I guess I'm supposed to say hi and welcome to Ozarks Live. So hi and welcome to Ozarks Live. What? Hey. Hey. Here's some news for you. I Lay just on. I I just read this half hour ago maybe, mm -hmm. and it 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 I went into an automatic funk. You know, it's snow in Wyoming and Montana. Snow. You know, somebody that I know out in the world put something on their Facebook page about the same thing. So they that's, showed some. That's like only a few blocks away, few as blocks far as away. I'm concerned. Well, you know, it's just it. It's um. I, I actually dressed a little more fall like today. It's September first. <laughs> yeah. I'm not quite snow ready yet, but um, no, no, I, it, mentally it's... not snow ready mm -mm. yet. I mean, I, the only snow I like, I think I've said this before, is in that little, you know, the, the little the bubbly little glass glove? thing they each. Ooh, an Alpine Village. That's that's nice snow. That's the snow you like. That's the snow I you can do. handle. It's like my favorite snow. Yeah. So then I can set it on a shelf and go outside and. Enjoy the sunshine and warm air. I know, I know. I'm not looking forward to that. One thing I am looking forward to, huh. um, this is interesting. Our daughter's playing volleyball again this year. Such as it is under the current circumstances, of course, with the pandemic. Um, but the first game is tonight, and it's also senior night. Because what if there are no games moving forward? You see what I mean? True. So typically you have senior night near the end of the season. This year they're like, um, you know, let's just do this. And so a lot of schools, you will see they are having their senior night right off the bat. Football, softball, yeah. Volleyball, So huh? And volleyball. Mm -hmm. Of course, no masks. So um, they do wear masks. Good. I believe. Okay. I don't know if they are going to make them during the match because one could just almost pass out under those conditions. Mm -hmm. However, it's safer to have it. But no, they definitely want you to mask up and do your part. But Good. as far as the okay. team on the court, I really don't know. I mean, this will kind of be the first time I've been out in an official match. So we'll yeah. see how it goes. Well, good luck to her. Thank you. I, I will tell I, her you said so. Spike and the whole deal. Get the whole thing. Yeah, it's going to be fun. They, they call her Spike, don't they? Uh, they should. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a fun show for you guys today. <laughs> I get to chat with Mr. John Sellers from over at the History Museum on the square for some more history on Springfield. That is true, plus it's Tuesday, which means we have dollars and cents today, as well as another cool tech find for Tech Tuesday, which we're also gonna call Travel Tuesday. Yeah, not just so you know. to mention, yeah, maybe technical travel. A little of both. Yeah, I think you'll agree when you see it. Anyway, yeah. Cammie, Cammie got to go try out another fitness facility here in the Ozarks, and we get a first-hand look at that. This is true, but before we get to all that good stuff, we're gonna show you what is on. Our radar. Tom, what you got? Okay, you know I really like hummingbirds. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a couple of feeders and really enjoy watching them feeding and fighting and doing all their crazy, you know, acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out these birds are even cool when they're asleep. Take a look at this.
<laughs> Woke up hungry, didn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's like they eat their biggest in the morning and they're eating constantly. <laughs> that's a cool, I did not know that about hummingbird. I would, I would think I, my, the poor actually, little thing had died too if I saw it hanging upside yeah, down. Yeah, and, and I mean, they don't do this, but they say you could actually go up and touch the bird and it won't even react. It wouldn't wake up? Nope. Because it takes them about 20 minutes or so to wake up, that whole process, because they have to start their metabolism moving again. So many, how many people have swatted them down thinking they were gone? And it like, could be, could very well. But my son just told me about this a few days ago, and I went, really? And I looked, and it's like, Gotta oh, show you, yeah. That's really neat, because that thing is just hanging onto the bird feeder. You know, that's pretty Kinda cool. like a bat, yeah. Yeah, they're, well, they're like little nectar bats, mm -hmm. is what they are. It's All pretty right. neat. Cool stuff. I like that. I've got one for you. Mm -hmm. Are you a swimmer? I can swim. You can swim. Yeah. But you don't swim a lot. All right. I'm guessing you couldn't swim for 10 hours straight? Absolutely not. <laughs> 15 hours? No, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. There's a woman out there who swam for 24 solid hours. Some people do this. I am not one of them. Um, a long distance swimmer by the name of Marion Cardwell spent 24 hours swimming nonstop in Lake Michigan Ew. to raise money for an <laughs> Illinois diabetes charity. Take a look at this. We're at about 11.15 a.m. on Sunday. The lake was big. But so is Marion. Marion's being joined by a good training partner, Andy. She's looking really strong. She's got nice, nice form. We're really proud of what she's doing here. She's accompanied by, by Catherine, lead kayaker. And now we've got an escort with Bill Lee and Michelle Andrew. And we really got a beautiful day. We're northbound to Winnetka Tower Road. And we're about an hour into this leg of our swim. All right, if the name sounds familiar, it's because she swam across the English Channel in 2012. She said she had originally planned to swim across Lake Michigan from Chicago to Grand Haven, Michigan, but her plans were interrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. So. Mm -hmm. Instead, she spent 24 hours swimming nonstop along the Wilmette, Illinois coastline and raised more than $1,000 for the Chicago Diabetes Project. Here's what she had to say after it all. She says, successfully finished. I'll post um, much more detail once I get some sleep, but just wanted to say thank you to everyone involved. We did it. We raised over $10,000 so far, which is incredibly humbling. She says thank you to everyone. The swimmer said she's now planning to attempt her cross lake swim in August of 2021 with an aim of setting a world record for the longest unassisted, unassisted open water swim. Don't get it? Happy that she's good, though. Yeah, Did good. I'm too. proud of her. I've, I've, I have swam in Lake Michigan. Have you? Uh, yeah. I can't recall like having. when I was in high school. Yeah. That was the last time. You're not yeah. signing up for that one. I get it. All right. Coming up, it's time for Dollars and Cents. It is indeed. And as always, there's great information coming your way. So don't go away because Ozarks Live is just getting started.